All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. We are going to call Sheikh Rohi immediately. Uh, he's online waiting for me to call him, and he will join us, and we will have a nice debate as last Saturday and the Saturday before. So please invite your friends, um, whoever you have in your list, and we will not take calls for now in Skype, uh, maybe later, because I will open actually the chance for the Muslims to call Sheikh Rohi. Um, to ask him questions if they wish but just give us uh, in the beginning some time to have a conversation me and him and after that we will open only for Muslims to call I don't want anyone to call him except the Muslims uh, at least in the beginning um, let me call Sheikh Rohi All right. <laughs> Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. With the greeting of the God of the Christians, peace to you. Welcome, Sheikh Rohi, to be with us. I hope today you have a, you know, you will have a good time together. Ahlan wa sahlan, my friend. Alhamdulillah, hope you are, uh, you are okay and uh, all your family, inshallah. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Sheikh Rohi, you know, before you call, actually, I was talking to the people who you hear, they are listening, uh, about certain issues in Islam, and we were talking about, I don't know if you heard uh, today, a guy in Mecca, he tried to commit suicide. Actually, he did commit suicide. And that remind me of what happened to the Prophet Muhammad when he tried to commit suicide many times. So what do your what your statement about this? What do you like to say? You heard me? Cut cut and voice. No, no. Okay, let me repeat uh, again. Let me repeat let, let me repeat again, no problem. I was saying that in the news okay. in the news today we heard that there is a, a person who committed suicide by throwing himself from the top of a building in the Kaaba and as yes. we know as we know in Islam it's forbidden for a person to kill himself unless he is killing some people with him and we know that the Prophet of Islam himself he tried many times before to commit suicide so what do you think about the Prophet trying to commit suicide and this Muslim committing suicide what the difference between them Oh, uh, truly, I don't. Uh, I read. Uh, I hear f uh, about this man who threw himself uh, from the mosque, but I don't uh, read the uh, details of this uh, accident. But uh, as according to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it is not true. That he was uh, wa uh, want to throw himself from the mount, as uh, you said, as uh, in the uh, un 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 incorrect hmm. matter. Well, I don't know. This is Sahir Bukhari, and I don't know if you can. I can give you the link. You can read it with me. It says here that after the divine inspiration stopped coming to the prophet. Uh, because of the death of Warapa, it says here in front of me, and I'm reading the Muslim translation, the Prophet becomes so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains, and every time he went up to the mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear for him before him and say, O oh Muhammad, you are indeed the messenger of Allah, and in truth, whereupon his heart will become quiet, would calm down and he would return home. This is in Sahih al Bukhari. This is not in a newspaper. So, what's your statement about this? Uh, can you read uh, this hadith by Arabic, please? Sure, no problem. Here we go. It says, Thumma lam yanshab waraka antu wafiya wafatra al wahiya fatra, 
حزن حتى حزن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فيما بلغنا حزنا غدا منه مرارا كي يترد من رؤوس شواهق الجبال فكلما اوفى بذروه جبل لكي يلقي منه نفسه تبدى له جبريل فقال يا محمد انك رسول الله حقا فيسكن لذلك جأشه وتقر نفسه فيرجع فاذا طالت عليه فتره الوحي غدا لمثل ذلك and the rest of the hadith, you can read the rest of it. So what, do you, what is your statement, Sheikh Rahim? This thumma lam yanshab waraqa anta wafa wa fatar al-wahyu. Ahsan. Hatta hazin al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahsan al-Qa al-Mas. But... وكان شيخا كبيرا سأقرأ بداية الحديث ثم هو السيء ثم لم ينشب ورقة أن توفيا شيك you are the one who have a PhD in Islam from Al-Azhar University and you are the Sheikh you tell me yes you tell me I'm asking you you tell me who is the one is talking there oh the one who narrated the hadith is obvious, isn't it? Yes, okay. I want you to think of this, mm. not to read, uh, just read. Mm. لم ينشب ورقة أن توفى وفتر الوحي فترة حتى حزن النبي فيما بلغنا حزنا غدا منه mm. مرارا كي يتردى من رؤوس الشواق الجبال. Uh, look at this hadith, what he said. Mm. فيما بلغنا فيما بلغنا ذات وات ريتش اس حزنا غدا منه مرارا كي يتردى من رؤوس الجبال. دو يو ريد ان ذيس حديث ذات بروفيت سيد اي ونت تو ثرو ماي سيلف ان ذا ماونتن ماي فريند ذا حديث از نوت اولويز وات ذا بروفيت سيد ات از وات بيبول ذيس از عائشه ريبورتين that وات شي نيو ذيس از وات هابن تو محمد بيكوز ريمبر عائشه شي واز ا تشايلد but, when Muhammad, but this hadith, when Muhammad, this he got, hadith not, yeah. not, not told by Aisha. No, it is by Aisha. This hadith not. No, it's by Aisha. If you go no. in the beginning, it says narrated by Aisha. Not Aisha told that Muhammad want to throw himself. No, uh, the hadith doesn't him. say, the hadith doesn't report anyone except, except Aisha. If you read from the beginning, it is Aisha who reported the whole story. And for sure, Aisha, she was not with Muhammad at that time because the one who took Muhammad and witness Muhammad to be a prophet is Khadija, correct? At that time, no. at that time, Aisha was not even a wife of Muhammad. She was a baby. So uh, 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 Aisha reporting what she heard, not what she witnessed. And it is, you know, and what we what we heard is this and this and this. Everything she is reporting here is not something she witnessed. It is what she learned. She learned from who? She is the first, uh, you know, hand set uh, like a, uh, witness for everything in the life of Muhammad. So when Aisha, she say that, why she want to say such a thing is not true? It is not uh, saying Aisha. Why? Uh, mm. This hadith uh, say, Fima balaghana, huznan. This about narrator, not, uh, not okay, Aisha. Who, who, who is the narrator? <laughs> Who's the narrator? Tell me, give me the name. Narrator Ayrwa ibn Zubair. Okay. So what 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 that will make a problem is if uh, if Urwa ibn Zubair says such a thing, he's lying. Uh, not lying. It hmm. is uh, wrong. Why he it's wrong? Think that, but it is. Why why it's wrong? He he think that he didn't say he think uh, that he said what we what we what we learned. He didn't say what I think. He said what we learned that the prophet gets so sad and he tried to commit suicide many times. It is wrong because the Prophet not said that he uh, want to throw himself on the mountain. If he said that or the Quran said that, we said this is a correct well, hadith. Well, but he don't say uh, my friend, obviously the Quran says that Muhammad was very much having a trouble about himself, believing that he is a prophet. The Quran says that if the uh, uh, Allah said to the Prophet, if you are in doubt in what we give to thee, you know, go and ask the Christians and the Jews, those who received the book before you. 
so obviously the Quran witness that Muhammad is suffering from something and that is about him being a prophet he don't want to believe he's a prophet and Allah told him okay if you don't believe me in what I sent to you go and ask those who believe before you Allah is saying that to Muhammad because Muhammad he believe or Muhammad don't believe obviously Muhammad don't believe he's a prophet he don't want you know he is still confused about it. is he really a prophet and this is a very perfect match with the story in the hadith if you read in the hadith it says it's not only telling us the story that Muhammad tried to commit suicide it says that each time he tried to commit suicide the angel Jibreel appeared to him and say to him don't do it you are a truly indeed a messenger of Allah and then after he said to him you are indeed Allah messenger in truth whereupon his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and would return home and then it's continue saying this he did not do that once he did it many time and whenever the period of the coming of the coming of the inspiration used to become long he would do so do as before which means he go to the top of the mountain trying to jump and then the angel Jibreel as a season in front of us but when he used to reach the top of the mountain Jibreel would appear before him and would say to him you you know what he had said before which mean you are in truly a prophet of Allah indeed so Muhammad when he hear that he stopped trying to commit suicide so what the problem of Muhammad he is so desperate he cannot believe he is a prophet he want to end himself he thought he is a crazy he is suffering from mental issues <clears throat> Okay, uh, look, my friend. Uh, God said, Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. We hear you. So, if you are uh, in doubt about the about that which we have revealed to you, mm. then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. Okay. The truth has certainly come to you from <coughs> your Lord, so never be among the doubters. Uh, do you mean, uh, do you understand what uh, this uh, first mean? Yeah, Muhammad, you don't believe he's a prophet. No, no. Mm. This is <coughs> scolding and reproof, not to praise mm. for uh, people of uh, scripture. It is like when you said to one person who works for you, if you don't like my work, then go and work for so and so. Hmm. And uh, you are sure that this person hates so. Also, this like saying of one of the uh, official officials in the Western countries to demonstrators, hmm. if you don't like the democracy of western countries mm. go and live in the democracy of arab countries mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, is this praise for arabs democracy not it is scolding and reproof not to praise so allah uh, said uh, the, if you in if in kunta fi shakkin mimma anzalna ilayk فاسأل الذين يقرؤون الكتاب من قبلك لقد جاءك الحق من ربك فلا تكون من الممتدين. So if you uh, يعني, uh, what this uh, the, the question here hmm. did the prophet ask the Jews not ask them so he didn't doubt because the ayah uh, says if you in doubt ask those who uh, have been reading the scripture as long hmm. as he didn't ask so he is not in doubt so it is ayah is scolding for the uh people uh, of scripture uh, not Sheikh Rahi, Sheikh Rahi, who is the one who was reading the scriptures at that time who are those people jews and uh, christians yeah but that's mean they have a scriptures and their scriptures are not corrupt because he said to them go and read and go and ask those who they are reading the scriptures so they have a true scriptures so how they have the true scriptures and yet Muhammad is coming with the new scriptures 
to replace the scriptures it is already approved by Allah in this verse as you said go and ask those who they are reading the scriptures not someone he die go and ask them they are alive they have the scriptures and they know the scriptures and they are reading the scriptures so how Allah is saying that to Muhammad but yet he is sending a new prophet with a new message and supposedly the previous message is not exist no more how you explain that I said to you my friend that uh, for example to explain this first as one of the uh, official in the Western countries uh, mm. when he said if you don't uh, like the democracy of Western countries go and live in the democracy of Arab countries uh, this uh, exactly this area إن كنت في شك مما فاسأل الذين يقرؤون الكتاب من قبلك كأن يعني God is calling the people of book not because Muhammad know that in their books don't telling the truth they mix truth by lying where where it says that in the Quran they are mixing truth by lying where 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 you know as I know in chapter 2 verse number 89 the Quran says the following that Allah he confirmed he's saying that he sent the book confirming what is with them you see in Arabic you speak Arabic I speak Arabic so we do not need a translator it says you know what means, which means what they have already with their hands not what they have in the past as Muslim they give in the translation Musaddiqan lima ma'ahum Believing in what they with them What is with them So this verse here saying clearly That it, they He sent the Quran Which is approving what they have with them now Not yesterday Not a week before Now This is the book they have And he approve it And he believe in it With it now So what the need of Islam then And you know When you say to me That the Prophet here Is not in doubt about Quran So what the point of this verse you know, are you saying that the God of Islam, he say things for no reason and it's meaningless? Because if I say to a person, if you don't believe me, go and ask, etc., etc., person. If this person, he believe me, it's mean I am not all knowing. I am not God. Because this is mean you are saying that Allah, he thought that Muhammad, he have adopted in his mind about him being a prophet. So he gave him this verse. But Muhammad, he don't have adopted. So Allah was wrong, Muhammad was right. So Allah is saying to Muhammad, okay, if you have a doubt about what I gave to thee, go and ask the Christians and the Jews, for they have a book right now with them and it's a correct book. So what is the need of Muhammad? No need. This is number one. Number two, Allah, he do not know if Muhammad have a doubt or not. If you are saying to me, Muhammad don't have a doubt, it's mean Allah, he gave a verse, have no use whatsoever. Because anyway, you just said, he will not ask the Christians and the Jews. And you say to me, show me where he asked the Christian and the Jews. So why Allah saying to him, ask the Christian and the Jews, if you have a doubt, if you have no doubt, and he will not ask the Christian and the Jews. That's mean Allah is not all knowing and he have no idea what he's talking about. The mic is yours. Uh, Allah said in uh, chapter, uh, chapter three, uh, verse seven to one, all people of the scripture why do you confuse the truth with falsehood and conceal the truth while you know this verse uh, tell us that uh, people of book mix the truth by uh, falsehood all people of the scripture why do you confuse the truth with the falsehood and conceal the truth while you know يا أهل الكتاب لما تلبسون الحق بالباطل وتكتمون الحق وأنتم تعلمون. This and so it is a lot of first talk about this problem of people of. Give me interpretation, Sheikh for this verse. Can you give me interpretation? You approve for this verse? Yes. Now I back to interpretation. مثلا هنا في التفسير التفسير يقول يا أهل الكتاب لما تلبسون الحق بالباطل وتكتمون الحق وأنتم تعلمون 
يقول يا أهل التوراة والإنجيل لما تخلطون الحق في كتبكم بما حرفتموه وكتبتموه من الباطل بأيديكم وتخفون ما فيهما من صفة محمد وأن دينه هو الحق وأنتم تعلمون ذلك uh, This uh, one of uh, interpreter uh, Okay, thank you Well, this is, this is a clear, this is a clear uh, uh, contradiction in the Quran because how the Quran says that Allah he sent Quran which is approving what they have with them right now and then you say to them why you are corrupting what you have with you right now is it corrupt or he approve what they have with them if you just saying to me that they are false they are adding false things to the book they have then this is mean the book they have is false already so how in chapter 2 verse number 89 says Believing in what they have now not yesterday So he was believing in the false book they have with them now or in the true book they have with them now صدقا لما معهم ليس لكل ما معهم لما معهم أي يصدق بعض ما معهم Where you get this from? My friend it says in Arabic you speak Arabic I speak Arabic Confirming what is with them, not some. Did, did you see the word Arabic in there? They are bad. Are you adding a word to the Quran? It's not there. In English, even translation, I'm reading in front of me, it says, and when they're coming to them, a scripture is from Allah, confirming that in their position. Confirming that in their position. So he is confirming what they have in their position. Whatever they have in their position doesn't say some. Where in the Quran it says the word some. If you say me the, if you show me the word some, I will apologize from you immediately. Uh, there is a uh, uh, yeah, no, there is a lot of first in Quran mm. said that uh, they mix truth by falsehood. Yeah, but this is so, if you go if you go and read the interpretation, you will find that this is when Muhammad he went to the the Jews and he they asked him about stoning to death. One of them he put his finger in the top of it, hiding it. That's all. They did not change anything. And not only that, Muhammad in that occasion, he asked him to bring the Torah and he put his hand over the Torah and he took an oath in it and he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So Muhammad was taking oath in the false Torah? No. Uh, as uh, to Muhammad, uh, when he uh, said, Amen to Biki wa biman anzalaki, the, when he bring the Torah, hmm. It was uh, then uh, brought, uh, he then uh, withdrew the cushion mm. from beneath him and placed the Torah on, uh, on it, saying, I believed in thee and in him who revealed thee. Mm. What the scholars said about this verse? Mm. The scholars mm. uh, said that the prophet means the origin of the Torah, not means this Torah that was ab ah, above the cushion. Okay. Guys, look at this. The prophet, he was taking an oath on the Torah under his hand, but he don't mean this one. He means something else. I mean, come on, Sheikh Rahi, who is the word is going to believe in this? So are you saying to me, Muhammad was, I'm not, I'm not insulting. You are the one who say that. You are saying that Muhammad, he is practicing taqiyya. He take an oath, but he don't mean it. He means something else. He said to them, bring me the book, bring me the Torah. They brought him the Torah. He put it in the couch on, on, the, on, the, on the cushion. He put his hand on it and he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. But according to you, he doesn't mean this book. He was fooling them. He's lying. He was believing in a book different from this book. How you say that, Sheikh Rohi? It is not my saying, uh, my, my friend. It is the scholars. They said that. Yeah, but this means they're, that, they're uh, accusing the prophet to be a liar. You're accusing your prophet to be a liar. You know, if you take an oath now, if I give you a book, Sheikh Rohi, and you say, I believe in you, huh? speaking to the book in, in, under your hand, you put your hand physically, and then I say, I believe in you, and you and the one who sent you, and then you say to me, he don't mean it. So this is what? This is taqiyya, correct? No, no, not taqiyya. So he what is it? said, I, the original of the Torah. He didn't not say the original. What, what he said, the word original, my friend, show me. If you show me the word original, I will, go, I will commit suicide now. Show it to me. What is the word original coming from? Are you Muslims adding words that in the mouth of your prophet? This is the saying of the scholars. Um, my friend, so are you following the scholar or following the prophet? The prophet, he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. 
he did not say words it's not there he said I believe in thee but let me tell you what happened the scholars they are trying to find a solution for this disaster he is a prophet of God making a, an oath that he believe in the Torah but in the same time he want to tell them the Torah is corrupt so how he take an oath of it swearing by it saying I believe in it yet he don't want to accept it because this is simply an act of somebody practicing hypocrisy he was between the Jews he was being hypocrite to the Jews. This is the only explanation. I'm not saying he is or he's not. This is what you are saying to me. You are saying to me, your prophet, he was with the Jews and he is hypocrite. He is taking an oath in a book. He don't believe in it. He believe actually it is corrupt. But yet he put his hand on it. I mean, who is forcing Muhammad to bring the Torah and say he is voluntarily? He said, bring me the Torah. Okay. The Jews, they brought him the Torah. He said, okay. He grabbed the cushion underneath of him. And he put it in the top and the, under his and, and, and like he put that uh, the book in the end the question and he said I believe in thee It's not the Jews forcing him putting a sword in his neck to say that no he voluntarily Took the book said I believe in he in him and who revealed thee and I believe in the Torah. So why he say that? What is what is what is the word some do you see the word some no? So you have to add words in order to solve problems about your prophet. This is the whole story. And here we find that Muhammad in this stage trying to be a Jew. He want to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. He believe in what they believe. Uh, my friend, the statement that uh, Prophet Muhammad said, uh, said by my, uh, Prophet Muhammad is possible for two meaning. As to me, I think the meaning that the scholar said it that he believe or uh, if the original of the Torah. Who is who is the scholar the who said was, that, my friend? Who is the scholar who said that? Can you give me the name? Okay, let me back to the scholar and lahza. Uh, I uh, went, please. One minute, I tell you hmm. who the. I will give you some time, uh, uh, Dr. Rohi. Let me grab my, my no, coffee. No, I, uh, I, I will grab no, my coffee, no I, problem. Uh, one, one minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, let me grab my coffee and feel free to answer. Right. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Hello? I find it. When you finish, tell me, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, doctor, did we have the answer? I want, uh, yes, yes, I find it. Go ahead. Uh, are you ready? Sure. Okay. Uh, this is in Sharh uh, Sahih al Bukhari, Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, mm. that he explained uh, Sahih al Bukhari. Mm. He said in chapter uh, 13, 172. Mm. يقول آمنت بك وبمن أنزلك لأن المراد أصل التوراة فيه اكتفاء الحاكم بترجمان كذا ويقول بعد ذلك وعلى هذا فيحتمل ما وقع في هذه القصة على أن النبي علم أن هذا الحكم منسوخ لا المهم اللي آه يقول وكذا من استدل به على على ان التوراه التي احضرت حينئذ كانت كلها صحيحه سالمه من التبديل لانه يطرقه هذا الاحتمال بعينه ولا يرده قوله امنت وامنت بك وبمن انزلك لان المراد اصل التوراه اصل التوراه هذا ما قاله ابن حجر في and how Ibn Hajar, how Ibn Hajar, he knew what the Prophet meant. You, uh, you, you Muslims, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, attacking a person, but are you saying that you Muslims are God? You know what the Prophet he meant. The Prophet did not say, I mean the correct one. He did not say, I mean different one. He hold the book physically. You see, if Muhammad was making a speech. In front of a group of people and he say I believe in the Torah. Okay. Well, here we go I believe in the Torah, but he mean the Torah which is not corrupt, but this is not the case He have the book in his hand physically Holding it Taking an oath on it and when he said I believe in thee he was speaking to the book He was not speaking to the people he is making a statement about the book he holds in his hand. So your scholar is plain as if he is God and he knew what the prophet meant. Now, I want to go with you. You are the one who said to me before. You remember when I said the prophet tried to commit suicide? You said the prophet did not say that. It was the guy who was narrating the hadith. So how come now in that case you don't take what the prophet did not say and now you take you do not take what the prophet said you take what the scholars say in this case now you are taking over the scholar opinion over what the prophet said in that statement you refuse it that the prophet he commits suicide because the prophet is not the one who mentioned that so how here the double standard work for Muslims when they want the scholar is right the prophet did not mean that when they want the prophet meant that and the scholars are wrong I said you before the statement of the prophet is possible for two meanings hmm. as to me I think that the scholars what said uh, the uh, that prophet Muhammad mean the original of Torah I take this meaning uh, because I, f I found uh, I find this meaning the true the correct. Hmm. Uh, so you, fi you, you find it. Understand. You find it. You find it. You don't find the the prophet say making a correct statement. So what you need to do here, you have to balance what Muhammad did by taking what the scholar said, explaining what's happening. Obviously, the prophet he don't mean the Torah, but yet he's holding the Torah. And don't you think this is a clear line? Are you, you know, you are saying to us that we are Muslims not to be trusted. You can give us a book and we will take an oath in it and we will say we believe in it, but we don't believe in it. This is exactly what you are saying to me. This is the best of mankind for the Muslims. He is, the, he is Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Yet he is taking an oath and this is confirmed by you, Dr. Rohi, the Sheikh from Al-Azhar University, that he is swearing in a book. He don't mean the book. He means something else. That is extremely dangerous and this is extremely proven to us that Muhammad cannot be a prophet because a prophet should be truthful. He should not say something and he means something else. False oath is not a behavior of a prophet of God. This is false oath. He said, I believe in thee. He's speaking about a book between his hand. 
confirming what is between his hand and this is what the Quran says مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ in different verse لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِمْ confirming what is between their hands so Muhammad taking oath about it confirming what is between their hands and between his hand now not their hands no more it is his hands and yet he don't mean it thank you very much for saying that We are listening, Doctor. What do you want to say? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I said uh, my opinion, my friend. And uh, this, uh, if you read uh, in this hadith and sharh, uh, what Ibn Hajar said, hmm. said also what he said also. والاستدلال به لذلك غير واضح لاحتمال خصوص هذه خصوص ذلك بهذه الواقعة. فلا يدل على التعميم انظر ماذا قال فلا يدل على التعميم يعني إذا كانت if the Torah that Prophet Muhammad put it above the cushion was it true all it true this not يدل على circular of all Torah in this uh, time my friend who is this guy he is a prophet the, the prophet he hold the Torah in his hand he didn't say I I confirmed this this page he didn't say I believe in this page he said he he said give me the Torah he did not even question them he did not even read it he took it he grabbed it he put it in the in the in the caution he which mean he is a trust in what he have in his hand believing in it and he says voluntarily I believe in thee and the one who sent thee he is not saying I believe in some and again you are just trying to find a solution for what your prophet did because this is obviously an act of hypocrisy if you don't believe in the Torah yet he swear by the Torah and then he say and you Muslims say oh he he, he meant he believed in some that's mean he was fooling the Jews did he say to the Jews I am fooling you I believe only in some of it not all of it no he said I believe in thee did he say I believe in two pages, ten pages, five pages of it? No. Did he say I believe in chapter two, chapter five, chapter ten? No. He said I believe in thee, and he said, "Give me the Torah, not give me a chapter, not give me a page." I don't want to swear by that page. The whole book brought to him from cover to cover, and you know, by the way, the Torah at that time it was a scroll, like you know, you you roll it up. So they bought they bought him that thing, and he put his hand on it, showing a lot of respect. Look what your prophet doing. He grabbed the cushion. He don't want to put the Torah in the floor. No, he grabbed the cushion and he put the Torah in the top of the cushion. And then he put his hand in the top of the Torah saying, I believe in thee. So why he is showing respect, take an oath in a book, which is the book of the devil, obviously, because you see the second a person he put words in that book, that is not the book of God no more. So you confirm to us that Muslims cannot be trusted starting from Muhammad because they can take false oath the same as their prophet. They say something, they mean something else. And now I want to ask you, as long you are insisting that the scriptures are corrupted, well, that's very funny because this is the book of Allah and you Muslims, you work hard trying to prove to us that the book of Allah is corrupt. How Allah can be God, but yet his book is corrupt. That is proven that Allah cannot be God. For the Quran confirm that the one who sent the Torah and the one who sent the Injil is Allah. <clears throat> and what the Muslims trying to say to us that Allah cannot protect his books. How you explain the weakness of your God, Dr. Rohi, Sheikh Rohi, how Allah is weak to the point anyone can change his words. You might. Okay, I said uh, Bible and Torah, not God's word, but it is Jesus' word and the meaning from God. That's uh, the, to say it is revelation from God, and Jesus said it by His word. So, because is, God's word. So, is the angel not change? Is it the angel? Is it the angel, the word of Allah, or not? Not word of Allah. Well, this is not what not the Quran says, my friend. I don't know where you got your degree from. If we go to chapter 3, verse number 3 in the Quran, it says, It is he who sent down to you in the truth, the book, confirming what is with them. Actually, not we went before them. And he sent down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus. So the Quran says he is the one who sent the Injil. He is the one who sent the Torah. And you are saying to me, this is not the word of Allah? 
uh, what we mean word of Allah. Hmm. What we mean when we uh, mean word of Allah. We mean hmm. in, uh, in, in Islam, word of Allah, that uh, Allah said this uh, word uh, character. Uh, يعني not character has been changed. So now, uh, if you look at the Torah and the Injil, uh, mm. Torah not revealed uh, by uh, Hebrew. Mm. Torah, uh, for example, uh, Torah, Jews, when uh, Torah was mm. revealed to Moses, were speaking ancient Egyptian language. Mm. And they didn't know Hebrew yet. Jews spoke Hebrew only mm. after they occupied Palestine. Who said that after to you? Moses who, sa who said that to you? Or scholars. What, where uh, we got this from? Uh, what, what do you mean, or scholars? No. You know, my friend, what you are saying is very dangerous. Remember, you are a sheikh and you have a PhD, right? So if you say that the scholars are saying that, that's mean all the message of Islam is false. Why? Because you just said that the prophet Moses, he don't speak Hebrew, and they learn the Hebrew after they get back into the land which is Israel. And you are saying that the Torah was not given to them in the Hebrew language. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, after uh, I said, because Hebrew is Canaanite language. Hmm. Canaanites hmm. were speaking it before Jews. So why it's called it? Torah? Why it's called Torah? Do you know what Torah mean? Yes. Yeah, what Torah mean? Tell me. Torah book of Jews. <laughs> yeah, this is the name of the book. But what the meaning of the word Torah? What the meaning of the word Injil? Injil and uh, good news. Good news. Okay. And according to which language? Uh, Aramaic language. Aramaic, uh, the, 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 the Injil is Aramaic, really. Hmm. Yes, who said who, who, uh, told, who told you that? Where you get this information from that the word Injil is an Aramaic word and it is it means the good news? Uh, we really we there from our study. Hmm. Uh, all uh, if you want uh, now, I don't, uh, yeah, but because uh, the Torah, my friend, the Torah is a Hebrew word. And the word Injil is not Aramaic, is a Greek word. And this is again a proof that Islam is aftermarket the religion. Because you are saying that Musa was speaking to the Egyptian, but yet the name of his book is a Hebrew. And Jesus was speaking to the Jews, but yet his name, the name of his book is a Greek. And the Quran says, We never sent a messenger, but he speak in the tongue of his own people. He have to be from the people and he have to speak the tongue of the people if you remember the story of uh, The three messengers with Allah send Do you remember the story he sent them to the city of Antioch <clears throat> Those yes. are those are three messengers. They went to a city called Antioch, right? Okay. What is the language of Antioch? Antakya and then the Aramaic language. Okay. So Jesus but was sent to the uh, people of Antioch or he was sent to the Jews? To Jews. But, that, so but, Jesus, but, in, uh, was but Antioch, but Antioch is not, is not a Jewish you, city. Is Antioch a Jewish city? Do you think that Jesus speak uh, Jew, uh, Hebrew? My language? friend, I'm going by the logic of Islam. The Islam, you must, you must, you say Jesus was sent only to the Jews. Okay, Antioch is not a Jewish city. This is a Greek city, and you confirm that right now. You are saying they speak a Greek. No problem, regardless of this is true or not. I believe they speak Aramaic. However, I am asking you. If Jesus was a messenger only for the Jews, how the Quran confirmed that? Jesus, he sent the three messengers. One, his name is Paul. The other one is Simon Peter, and the third one, some Muslim they say Barnaba, some Muslim they say John or Johanna. So, how they are three messengers of Jesus? They went to the city of Antioch, 
and yet you are Muslims saying that this is was a prophet or Jesus was a prophet only for the Jews don't you see there's a contradiction here no the Quran uh, not said uh, that uh, prophet Jesus uh, sent three messengers it is some of interpreters said that some why so uh, why they, what, what about you what do you say you who are they, those three you the Quran not mentioned that uh, Jesus who said no problem uh, my that. friend you what do you say who are those three I uh, I think the the first that uh, said وما أرسلنا من رسول إلا بلسان قومه not uh, mentioned to the language not uh, mentioned really? to the language who said that uh, where do you get this from? It's about language because Lisani Qawmi, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Lisan is a tongue. Language. This is what it means. And you can read all the interpretation. Not even one of them don't agree with me. Lisan. And the Quran confirmed that. It says we send it in the language of the people so they might understand. So what is the what is the logic? It's a it's a good logic. We send the messenger to speak the language of those people who so they can understand. Very simple logic. This is what the Quran is saying. And if we read the, the interpretation of the Islamic scholars, as you confirm yourself, that the interpretations of the scholars says, oh, those are the messengers of Jesus. Now, according to you, who are the, those three? When Allah said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ mm -hmm. يعني ليس معنى بلسان قومي يعني أن موسى تكلم العبرية أو المسيح تكلم الأرامية not uh, Moses speak Hebrew and uh, Jesus speak Aramic language or uh, Muhammad speak Arabic it is uh, clear uh, speaking م. but uh, المقصود بلسان قومه that the prophet uh, every prophet uh, when he sent to the uh, his uh, folk he is, uh, he was know his culture uh, their culture uh, how they think how they feel how they uh, what their need what they, uh, their hope uh, how he you know all uh, thinker يعني يعني المقصود انه يتكلم ثقافة قومه وروحهم وعواطفهم وحاجاتهم how somebody, how somebody will speak the culture and the, and, the, and, the, and the history of those people but they don't, don't speak their language I mean don't you think this is really uh, what you said is, is out of uh, control if we read the Tafsir Al-Jalalain he said not me and we have sent we have not sent any messenger except in the tongue with the language of his people and this is the case for all the scholars. Suddenly, according to you, Sheikh uh, Ruhi, that this is not about the language. This is about he know the culture. So you know the culture without knowing the language. I never heard of such a thing before. So I go to India right now, and I'm going to know the culture of the Indian, but yet I do not speak the language. How that can happen? In order to know the culture, you have to know the, la the language. And the Quran confirmed that Allah, he sent the Quran in Arabic for a certain for a reason. Why is that? So they might understand. So you are denying again what the Quran says, even about the Arabic Quran. Why the Quran is in Arabic? Because Muhammad was sent to the Arab, so they might understand. So we send it to you in Arabic book. Why? Why it's in Arabic? So you might understand. You might understand. Read it. So you are denying the logic of the Quran. You are denying what your God Allah He said. It's just to escape that the Quran is full of errors claiming that Jesus is a messenger for the Jews but yet his book his name is in Greece and you just confirm that yes it was in Greek and Musa he gave his book as you said in the ancient Egyptian language not in the Hebrew but yet this is against the Quran and the Quran confirmed that Allah he gave the book to Muhammad and Muhammad just a prophet the same as any prophet in Arabic so they might understand and this is contradiction for Muslims claiming that Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind because you cannot explain the Quran today to anyone. You Muslims, you have tons of thousands of explanation for the Quran and none of them match anyone. And every, every scholar, he gave me different verse, different meaning. And you just gave me one. You just said 
that the Torah and the gospel are not the book of Allah and I cannot find one scholar support what you said can you show me one scholar Sheikh Ruhi Imam Ruhi Dr. Ruhi except what you said that the Torah is not the book of Allah and the Injil is not the book of Allah remember you are recorded Muslim themselves they will take you accountable for what you are saying the Muslim themselves are going to ask you questions actually I'm going to open the mic if you don't mind after maybe uh, maybe an hour or half hour it's up to you and because some Muslims they have a question for you if you don't mind is that okay yeah. all right so how how you are saying what is your proof that the Torah and the Injil is not the book of Allah if there is any scholar support what you just said to us or this is your own new sect of Islam Look, uh, my dear, I want to clear what uh, what uh, the mean of Bilisani Qawm, then I explain what word of Allah. Mm. When Jesus uh, sent to the people of Israel, he strike example from really of his people. For example, he, uh, them example, girls and wedding and example of farmer or example of garden of grapes or example the narrow doors all these example from the reality of the people uh, in this time mm. this is what mean bilisani qawmi yani bilisani halihim yatahaddath bilisani halihim min thaqafatihim wa min waqi'ihim what what scholar said that now, my friend i'm asking you what scholar said that the one the explanation you just gave me I gave you a Jalalain, I can give you Ibn Abbas, I can give you Al-Tabari, I can give you any scholar you want, none of them agree with you. Can you give me a scholar agree with you? Why a Jalalain is saying the language? Is he lying? Is a Jalalain lying when he said the language? Why he's adding the word languages if it's not about language? Yes. Hmm. Why as, is uh, the, as the Tafsir hmm. or the Jalalain or Qurtubi, it is uh, we don't take everything they tell us. Uh, so, you know, we take what we, we like, we take what we like. You know, Islam is very selective religion, and the, and the Muslim is like a guy going to the uh, grocery store, he grabs from the shelf what he likes. So, there's no rules, and there is no respect for the religion. And those sheikhs, who you Muslims call them scholars, they fabricate meaning. Because remember, fabrication is not only about fabricating a word, it's about fabricating a meaning. So you Muslims, you are saying to me, confirming to me, that your Muslim scholars, they lie about what Allah meant. They fabricate meaning, it's not there. And we Muslims, every one of I us, he can come with his own meaning. My, my friend, I don't fabricate. No, not you. I'm not this saying it's you. This. You are saying this is... This. I'm not saying yes. you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying that... Tafsir Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, Tafsir Al-Jalalain, Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, Tafsir Al-Tabari, all of them, they are a bunch of liars. They are fabricating because all of them, they have the word language, except you. So you are the truthful, they are the liar. Obviously, one of you is telling the truth. Who, who is the one telling the truth here? Sheikh Dr. Ruhi or Al-Jalalain or Al-Qurtubi or Al-Tabari or whatever. Who? Why all of them, they are adding the word language if it is not, should not be there? Explain to me. Yes. Do you hear uh, about uh, one uh, famous historian, uh, Marjil Youth? Marjil Youth mm -hmm. is uh, Christian. Marjil Youth. What he say? Uh -huh. What What, what, what Marjil yes, have to do with uh, with us now? Yes. No, my, my friend. My you. friend. I never. I don't. I don't go by scholars. I go by what, what my God he said. I don't go by any scholar. I'm asking you now. Don't change the topic. You Muslims go by the interpretation. You Muslims give interpretation for the Quran, and you are the Muslims who is giving me interpretation now. Not a single Muslim in the world agree with you. So I'm asking you, based on what you came with this, that the Torah and the Injil is not the word of Allah. Show me one, one place. The Quran is full of statements saying that Allah is the one who sent the Torah. Allah is the one who sent the Injil. And we showed you where a prophet of Islam taking oath in it. And you are the one who said, Yes, he's taking oath, but maybe in the original one. He is talking oath in the original one. Why? Because it's from Allah. But you just say to us, no, 
Moses did not receive a Torah from Allah. This is not the book of Allah. And the Injil is not the book of Allah. Since when this is coming? I, I never heard of a sheikh in the world ever. Actually, I heard a guy from Pakistan just a week ago saying the same thing. This is sound like a new sect. Are you are you a Muslim Sunni Sheikh Rohi or you are a new sect in Islam? Yes, I am a Muslim Sunni. Sunni. Okay, which which is Sheikh in Islam? Which is sect? If, what where the Sunni in the world they believe? Show me one page. It says that the Torah and the Injil are not the book of Allah. Uh, we must discuss uh, this, my friend, to understand what I mean. Hmm. You, we must. Uh, why? Okay. When we said uh, Torah, ليست كلام الله, what uh, is meant? It means that uh, Prophet Muhammad will informs Quran as he heard it from God. Not character has been changed, but according to Torah and Bible, there is a different situation because Bible and Torah is Jesus' word and the meaning from God. Do you understand? But me? this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying that Allah is the one who sent the Torah. Even Allah, my, my friend, let, let me let me. Yes, you are you have a person who have a PhD, but look like you have a, you don't have a good memory. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah He gave the Torah written by the hand of Allah to Moses in the tablet. So how he wrote the Torah yes. for him, he wrote the Torah for him by his hand. And he gave it to him written by his hand on a tablet. And yet you are saying to me the Torah Moses he had is not that is not the book of Allah. I mean, I never heard of such a thing before. Yes, but uh, the, when Moses... Uh, hmm. Uh, said that it is a change. Allah said in the Quran that it changed. He did not say. He did not. He did not say. Say it. he say, he he wrote for him the tablet. So is that the tablet? Is it the book? Is it the Torah or not? The Torah and I said. But you say you say that the Torah is not the book of Allah. You say the Torah was given to Moses by mouth and to same to Jesus. But now because I reminded you of a verse in the Quran, you try you you try to fix you yourself. You don't it's, understand me, uh, my friend. My friend, you, you are the one understand. who doesn't understand yourself. You said it clearly that the Torah is not the book of Allah. I'm not talking about the Torah in my hand or in your hand. I, I'm talking about the Torah mission in the Quran. The Torah mission in the Quran, I, I is it sent by Allah or sent by somebody else? You said no, it's not sent by Allah because Allah, he did not give them a book. He spoke to them. And then it's written, he, they, they delivered in the languages of the people of the ancient Egyptian. It's what you said. But this is false. Because Allah, He gave the Torah to Moses, written in the language of Moses, and the Muslim believe that all the books of Moses given in the tablet, not only the Ten Commandments, as the Jews believe. So here you have a problem. You contradicted yourself, saying that Allah did not send the Torah. You are not talking about the Torah in my hand. You are talking about the Torah in the time of Moses. Everybody heard you saying that the Torah in the time of Moses, He spoke to the Egyptian. You are not talking about the Torah today when you deny it, saying this is not the book of Allah. So when Moses gave the Torah to the his people, they were in Egypt, according to you, that is not the book of Allah, as you said. But this is contradiction from what the Quran is saying to us, as we see in front of us, that Allah, he wrote all the Torah in tablet and delivered it by hand to Moses in chapter 7, verse number 145. Yes, uh, Moses, uh, do you know, Moses uh, was uh, born in Egypt and lived in Egypt, so he speak uh, Egyptian, ancient Egyptian language. So what is so it? So he don't speak. So what does it have to do with denying that this is so, the book of Allah? So if, if Moses at that time he speak uh, uh, Egyptian or he speak Japanese or he speak Chinese, so? If Allah is saying this is the book I gave to Moses, this is the book of God gave to Moses. So how you say to me? So look what you are saying. You are saying that Allah He gave Moses a book, but Moses He translated to different language, and that will make it not the book of Allah. Are you saying that? Not Musa. Not Musa. Allah gave the book uh, to who? Jews. Allah gave the book to who? Did He give it to Moses or someone to else? Musa. Okay. To Musa, what but, happened with that book? But Allah. Hmm. Allah don't uh, tell us that uh, gift to Musa from Hebrew. 
by by Hebrew language. So what Allah told so you? He give, told he give the Torah to Musa. Okay, what the, what, so why the Torah is called Torah, which is a Hebrew word, but the book is not in Hebrew? I mean, imagine uh, I use an English word as a name of my book, but my book have not a single English word inside it. And you just said that the Hebrew at that time is not even exist. So if the Hebrew is not exist, how the book called Torah, which is a Hebrew word? Uh, the scholars said that the Jews speak uh, Hebrew after they occupied Palestine after Moses this my friend doesn't matter I'm asking you See? if they do that after or before as as long the Hebrew as you said is not exist why Allah called the book Torah he should call it a different thing he should call it an Egyptian name because he gave them Egyptian book Not Egyptian book, but the Torah. So what? What it was? By, what the language? Uh, my, my, Sheikh Rahib, can you make it clear? What is the language Allah gave to Moses? The book He gave to Moses in which language? Please make it clear for us, because I'm getting confused now. About you keep saying it's not Hebrew because Hebrew does not exist, and they were in Egypt. So what the language Allah He gave the Jews, their book written in? What is the language? Ancient Egyptian language. Thank you very much, guys. Be my witness. It's an ancient Egyptian language. So, is that book was given to all the Jews or to all the Egyptian or whoever live in Egypt? To the Jews, because because the Jews was speak ancient Egyptian language. They was live in Egypt four hundred years. So, why the Quran says, speak my friend? You see, I don't know. I don't know who was your teacher. I'm not. I don't mean to insult in the in, in the Azhar University, but isn't it the Quran says that Moses he offer Mo, uh, uh, the Pharaoh to convert to Islam? Yes or no? What I don't I don't uh, understand you. Did did Musa, did Musa in the Quran invited uh, the Pharaoh to convert to Islam? <clears throat> Yes, yes. Okay. He so, he... But but the Pharaoh is not a Jew. You told me that this book sent to the Jew only, but then it's sent to the Jew, so we invite the Egyptian. He not for a Jew, the for all the human the my friend, you just say it, you just say it. This is a book for the Jews. I just asked you a second ago. Now you retreat, you change the answer. It's recorded. I ask you, Dr. Rohi. Is this the book only for the Jews or for all the Egyptian or whoever live in Egypt? You said, you said, it is for the Jews. So how it is the book for the Jews, but yet he is inviting the Pharaoh who is not a Jew to convert to Islam. He go to Pharaoh to take uh, people of Israel. Give me people of Israel when he... Uh, My friend, is, is, Pharaoh, is the Pharaoh, is the Pharaoh from the people of Israel? No, so but, but you just was <laughs> you shake. You just said that this book was sent only to the Jews, to the people of Israel. You said that. I asked you a question. I said, is this book was sent to ever live in Egypt, or it is for the Jews only, or for the Egyptian? You said no, only for the Jews, and again, it is recorded. So how they are inviting the pharaoh to convert to islam because he not uh, of the jews especially for the jews huh but you are the one who said to me it's especially for the jews you just said that you muslims you make speeches that jesus was only a messenger for the for the christian for for the jews Moses was only a messenger for the for the jews and muhammad international messenger suddenly now pharaoh is is, is okay pharaoh is okay you know that if the pharaoh if the if the pharaoh convert the whole nation will follow the king so what do you mean it's a you know it says it clearly he invited the pharaoh to convert to islam and the pharaoh refused He why he go to the Pharaoh? It doesn't Moses, matter, my friend. Moses is he a messenger for the Jews or he is a messenger for the Pharaoh? 
Yes, for a Jews, but he so why he is invite so everyone. He <laughs> not, friend, uh, if he invite everyone, that means he is not a messenger for the Jews only. You just said invite everybody. Come on, you see, I don't know what's wrong in in in, in how you you Muslims think. If I invite everybody, it mean everybody. When you say everyone, it means it's not. He is not a messenger for the Jews. So how you say such a thing? Obviously, Islam is full of contradiction, and you are confused how to answer this. It is a book sent by Allah. Allah cannot protect it. And this is what the Muslim they say to us. Yes, Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets, and every prophet, he sent him a book, and he sent the Torah, and he sent the gospel. And now we are trying to find a solution, how the Torah and how the Injil is a change. So what do you say to us? Oh, okay, Allah, he sent the Torah, but you remember that the, 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 the people used to speak Egyptian. What, who care what they speak? If Allah, he sent the Torah, in which language? I don't care. It is his book, and you are denying it to be it is his book. And now when we ask you, is Musa sent in the book, in the Torah, as in Hebrew, you said, no, Hebrew does not exist. But yet the book, his name is Torah, which is a Hebrew word. So Allah, he was calling it Hebrew before it was it became Hebrew. And then the, the, the book is sent to the language of the people. You said, no, it's not a language. It's about the culture. But here we go. You are just confirming that Allah sent Musa to, the, to Pharaoh, inviting him to convert to Islam. But you confirm in the same time that Musa was a messenger only for the Jews. Imagine, guys, I am a messenger only for the, let us say, Egyptian. But then I go to Trump. I go to the White House and he said, Trump, convert to Islam. But if Trump convert to Islam, that will not make a Trump an Egyptian. He is a redhead man. He is a blonde man. And that means I became a messenger for people who they are not from my people, which is against the Quran. And when we ask Sheikh Rohi, where you get this interpretation that this is not about the, 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 about the language, he cannot give us one scholar go with him. Obviously, Sheikh Rohi is creating a new sect of the Muslim Sunni. I don't know what they call it. Yes. <clears throat> uh, I ask you, my friend. How Jews speak Hebrew when they live in Egypt for hundred years and speak ancient Egypt uh, Egyptian language, my friend? That will not and change. And Moses, my born friend, in Egypt, my friend, that, that will not uh, change anything. Ancient. We are talking about what Allah He sent, not what the Jews. The Jews are Jews. They are human. Wherever they go, if they go to China, they speak Chinese. They live in Assyria, they speak Assyrian. It doesn't matter. The question is. You are saying that Allah did not send the Torah and he did not send the gospel the Injil And you are saying that the, the the Quran is speaking about the tongue is not about the language Which is absolutely not true because all Muslims confirm that this is about the language and when we ask you Was Allah sending the, the Torah to the Jews or to international? Society you said to the Jews only but the Quran in the front of us says in 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 in, uh, in uh, chapter 10 verse number 75 then after them sent we Moses and Aaron to the Pharaoh who is the one who sent he sent them in purpose not in his way he saw them and he like he say hey convert to, to believe in Allah no Allah sent them Moses and sent in Aaron both as messengers of Allah to the Pharaoh but the Pharaoh is not a Jew and he is not a Hebrew and he is not from the nation of Israel so here we have a very clear contradiction but in order to save the problem you 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 come with a theory which is very confusing you yourself you cannot prove it and here we go in front of everybody can you show me the scholar who say that the the verse i gave you about the tongues have nothing to do in chapter 14 verse number four have nothing to do with the language can you show me one scholar agree with you Uh, is uh, what first? Please read uh, chapter 14, verse number 4. 14. Mm. I don't uh, know what uh, this. Uh, can you read this, please? Can you read this, please? No problem. Wama arsalna min rasulin. Let us open the verse. Illa bil yes. okay. No, no. So this. 
وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلَسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ تشاب تار إبراهيم You uh, the scholars of the Mufassirin al-Jalalain the old uh, mm. interpreters mm. said that uh, speak uh, Muhammad speak Arabic Musa speak Hebrew but I don't uh, uh, believe in that in this. Okay, so you are coming with a new interpretation now. The scholars of the Ummah of the nation, they have interpretation. Agree with me. You come in with a new interpretation. How is that? Are you allowed as a Muslim Sunni to come with a new interpretation and forgetting about the scholars of the nation who they are more close in time to the Prophet? How we can do that? And who is the one who's uh, going to agree with you? Like, did you did you present Sheikh Rohi when you did you took your PhD in the Azhar University? Did you present your theory about this and the Azhar accepted? Do the Azhar approve your your? Uh, yes. They accept it. Do you have a book, Sheikh Rohi? Yes. Do you have a book? Do you, do yes, you, I have a book. Can you can you give us the name of the book so I can show it on the screen, please? Uh, if you have a link, uh, if you have a link, if you don't mind. So people will know because some people they want to know who is Sheikh Rohi. So if you don't mind, if you have a book written by you, and maybe somebody wanna buy it, you know, uh, from the Muslims or any, uh, I can show it in the screen. What the name of the book? Uh, if you want my uh, book, uh, see my uh, website. Okay. I, all uh, this what I say to you in this man my side. What, what the name of your book? Uh, it is not uh, mention of uh, this book. You said you have a book and it's not mentioned. What do you mean? Is it a book or is not a book? Yes, I have a book. Uh, if you want, I uh, please send you okay. my book. Okay, give me give me a link for your book, please, so we can review. But the name and where we can find it. He is not uh, in a link, but I have a book in uh, with me. I sent you what, later, what, inshallah. What the name of the book? Uh, my book is Mafahim Qur'aniya Qira'atun Ukhra. Mafahim Let me search for it. Mafahim Al Qur'aniya Qira'atun Ukhra. Another reading. Qira'atun. Ukhra. All right, I will uh, I will search for it. Of whom? Okay, في كتاب مفاهيم قرآنية. Okay, let us see مفاهيم قرآنية. I see here somebody making an article about it. Uh, okay, it says here, but the book here I found it's called. I don't know. Maybe this is a different one. Mafahim Qur'aniya Ru'ya Mu'asara. This is a different one. I send you later. Uh, okay. So, but can you send me a link right now? Because people, they are asking, especially Muslims, you know, they want to see who is who is Dr. Rohi. Actually, some of them, they are saying, some of them even saying that, you know, I'm not the one saying that. Don't take me wrong. Some of the Muslims saying that you are not even a Muslim. And they said we cannot find an, a sheikh. His name is Rohi in Azhar University. So this is why yes. I wanna I wanna show them your book if you don't mind. So Muslims, Christians, everybody will know who is Doctor Rohi. I am a Muslim Sunni. Uh, have PhD in Azhar, mm. but I want to tell يعني, uh, all my name now. For a reason, a special reason, of, uh, according to me. So the book name is Mafahim Qur'aniya Qira'atun Ukhra, correct? Qura'atun Ukhra. Uh, this is one of my book. This is one of my book. Okay, because but, I don't, uh, يعني, what what is the other book's names? Al Al Qalaq Al Nafsi, Dirasa fi Al Tahlil Al Nafsi wa Al Tafsir. القلق النفسي دراسة تحليل النفس والتفسير
So like the Dr. Rohi is a very active person. He writes books. I mean, it's not like, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's very uh, active, but um, I don't know. I'm trying to find the book. Is, is it sold in Amazon, something like this? No, no, no. It is... Uh... Maybe he is not in the internet, but I send you later. All right, no inshallah. problem. No problem. So let us make it simple, Dr. Rohi. The scholars, and you agreed with me, that the old scholars, they agree that this is about a language. But you yourself, you don't agree it's about a language. And what makes you think it's not about a language? What? Wh why you fly out of the team? All the Islamic scholars, they say this is about the language as we saw at tabari al qurtubi al jalalain etc ibn abbas not even a single one did you know did not go and say it is about language yet you say it's not a language so why you a person who have a phd come to this conclusion uh, we can't close the yani the door of uh, interpretation yeah but you have to have a reason what is what is your reason because uh, when he said i uh, when he said mm -hmm. uh, i said ليس معنى بلسان أن موسى يتكلم العبرية المسيح يتكلم مثلا العرمية محمد يتكلم العربي هذا الكلام من قبيل توضيح الواضحات لا تفيد شيئا لابد أن كل رسول يبعث باللغة التي يتكلم بها قوم ولا يعقل أن يأتي رسول للعرب مثلا يتكلم العبرية لا يعقل أن يأتي يتكلم لليهودية يتكلم العربية فلذلك أي أن أن أقول لك بالعربية ما ماذا أقصد فالمقصود بلسان يعني قومه أن الرسل لم يكونوا مثل مثلا مفكرين معاصرين يتبادلون أراء فلسفية سياسية التي لا يفهم عوام الناس الرسول ليس مفكر مثلا اشتراكي أو تقدمي إنما بلسان قومي يتكلم من ثقافة قومه من روحهم من عواطفهم يدخل كلامه في قلوبهم بسهولة ويسر لأنه يضرب لهم أمثلة واقعية من كما كان كثير من مثلا عندما جاء المسيح كان يضرب للناس الأمثلة من واقعهم مثل مثل العزارة الزراع ابن صاحب الكرم الباب الضيق حبة الخردل الخروف الضال كذلك موسى يخطب الناس من واقعهم شيخ let me translate to the people yes. so they will not get confused and this, speaking this is what meaning of بلسان oh, okay. قومي we'll بلسان we'll قومي يعني من واقعهم okay guys he's saying he's saying let me translate what he said he said as an example the messiah he was speaking to the, to the people giving them parables about like stories and from their their lifestyle and this is what he mean by lisan it's a culture it's about uh, knowing the culture of the people but shaykh rohi listen carefully when your prophet in the hadith he said the word be lisan and he give us the explanation for the word lisan are you going to say your prophet he got it wrong too if we go to sahir bukhari it says the prophet said near the establishment of the hour there will be the day of harj and the religious knowledge will be taken away, which means vanish. And general ignorance will be spread. Abu Musa said, Al-Harj, in the Ethiopian language, mean killing. If we go to different hadith, Sahih al-Bukhari, it says, the Prophet said, Al-Harj and Harj is in the Ethiopian language, mean killing. What is the, what is the translation for the Ethiopian language? It says, Bilisan al-Habasha al-Qatlu. So you're a prophet. He always used the word bilisan, and it means only language. I can go. I can give you tons of hadith. You're a prophet using the word lisan. He is not talking about the culture. He is talking about the tongue. Here, if we go in different, uh, 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 in, in different hadith, it says "Faktubuhu bilisani Quraysh." Translation This is a story about Uthman Uthman, the book, the, the Quran today The Muslims don't have Quran They have a book, it's called Mus'haf Uthman Even that book does not exist actually They have what they call copy of copy of copy of Uthman Uthman called the Aziz, etc, etc And then he said to them When they wrote the manuscript of the Holy Quran 
He said to them, uh, let me highlight so you guys can read with me. In the form of a book, several copies, Uthman said to the three Qurayshi person, people, Qurayshi we mean people from the tribe of Quraysh. If you differ with Zaid bin Thabit in any point of the Quran, then write it in the language of Quraysh. What is the word is used here is Lisan. You see it, uh, Sheikh Rahi? Lisan. So he said, don't, what, does that mean write it in the, in the culture of Quraysh? Or it's mean the language of Quraysh? So the Arab always use the word Lisan as a word mean language. Suddenly you come in from the middle of nowhere with a new meaning for it. And here the word is appearing twice or three times in the same hadith. In the Lisan of Quraysh. In the Lisan of Quraysh. In the Lisan of Quraysh. Do you see it? Here we go. I will show it to you in Arabic. I will show it to you in English. Here it says, فَاكْتُبُوهُ بِلِسَانِ قُرَيْشِ فَإِنَّمَا نَزَلَ بِلِسَانِهِمْ فَفَعَلُوا ذلك. Write it in the tongue of Quraysh for it's sent in their tongue again. So he repeat the word Lisan twice. And this is cannot be a culture. This is about a language. How they speak, how they talk. Their language is different from what other people they speak, how they speak Arabic. So, send it by, write it down by the tongue of Quraysh. Are you saying to me that Uthman, he do not know what the word Lisan mean to? And he was confused. He is ordering them to write it in the tongue of Quraysh. But he meant the culture of Quraysh. How you can write the Quran in the culture of Quraysh if the word Lisan means culture? Okay, my friend, uh, give me five minutes. I uh, no return to you, inshallah. No problem. Please. Take your time, my friend. Take care. <laughs> I hope I wasn't hard, was I? Actually, I did not eat yet. I'm so weak. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep yesterday. You see, guys, when I say to you, it doesn't matter how big they are, PhD, professor, I mean, who care? I go down if you are a kid. I go up if you claim to be a scholar, and still you will not answer me, and you are no match. You are no match. It doesn't matter who are you. Actually, the bigger you are, the easiest it is. Remember, guys, if any one of you would like to learn about Islam, don't forget you can go to Amazon and look for my books. I have a new books release. release. Actually, it's number one now in Islamic mythology. And that because it looks like many of you is ordering the book already. It's called Allah in Six. If you search it in Amazon, uh, it appearing as number one, as I as somebody told me, I did not check really, uh, in the Islamic myth in, in mythology. Uh, this book is about sexuality in Islam. However, I have a list of books explaining Islam very well. You know, the same I talk, by the way. My books is the same as I talk right now. You heard me with anyone. It's exactly me. You will notice right away this is me. You know, from the way I talk. My book is no different from me speaking to you here. I speak in a very simple way. I don't make things complicated. I help you to think. I will not think for you, but I help you to think with me. So we can reach into a conclusion. And if you notice, I'm talking to a scholar, supposedly. I am helping him to think. Did you notice that? I am helping him because he did not get it yet. This religion is the religion of confusion. They claim to be scholars, but in Islam, there is no scholar because simply it's a very confusing religion. Everybody have an answer. Everybody will give you new interpretation. Everybody want to, you know, remember when I mentioned to him last time, I said to him, let us go to the book of Asbab al-Nuzul or Tafsir. He said, those books are written to solve a problem. Well, isn't it you now giving a new interpretation to solve a problem? <laughs> isn't it you 
trying to run away from the, the true interpretation of your scholars, making a new interpretation because you got them. Now you, you notice that this is really bad. Those sheikhs are really bad. They, they, they get the prophet busted. People today are more educated. Those questions maybe never been asked before. So now we have to change the interpretation. We cannot stop the interpretation. You know, what, what kind of religion this religion is? The scholars against the scholars. You see, Muslims are against the Christians, but the Muslims don't agree with the Muslims. Muslim Sunni don't agree with Sunni. Shia don't agree with Shia. Shia don't agree with Sunni. And we are talking about the same cult, the same sect. Still, they are contradicting each other because every one of them trying to be smart, trying to find a solution for a problem. For Islam is a problem, is not a religion. The second you believe in this cult, you are doomed. You are high with the drugs. And you have no idea what to say. So when you debate a Muslim, he is not weak because he is weak, but he is weak because Islam is a stupid religion. He said he will be back in five minutes, and we will see if he will be back. We hope so. Uh, let us see here. And guys, if you if you have already my my any of my books, uh, especially the last one, uh, Allah and Sex, don't forget to make your honest review. Now, my books is is not like you know you know th there's books they put a lot of words there like blah 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 blah. It is a flood of reference. As you see here. The guy before he finish, I give him something else. Before he finish, I give him something else. And even I don't need to think about it. It's just there in my head. And this is how I write my books. I don't sit. I have a pre-idea to write. I, I know I will write about sex and Allah. And then ideas, they come one after one. The Muslims, they used to, let us say, speak to Christians who want to teach them about Jesus. You know what I mean? Let me tell you about Jesus. Uh, let me tell you about the Bible. Well, the Muslims don't believe in the Bible anyway. So it's like you are trying to install a new software in a in a computer have a, a infection with virus. You have to format first. You have to format the computer, clean it from the virus. So before we tell the, the Muslims about Jesus, and I am a Christian and I'm proud to be a follower of the Messiah, he's my Lord. Before we go to that step, we have to format the computer. We have to show them that this is a book of ignorance. This is a book of confusion, and God don't bring confusion. He said five minutes. I hope he will be back in five minutes. What is the Trinity? Here we go. You see, the second you ask the Muslims a question, he have no answer for it. He says, what is the Trinity? Let me tell you what the Trinity is, you, Abdul. The Trinity is God. It's called Allah. He say he is not created and his Quran is not created. Then he sent Islam by three, him and Jibreel and Muhammad. And then he recited the Quran, opening the Quran by three names, Allah and the Rahman and the Rahim. And then he said to you, if you commit sin, you fast three days. And then he says to you, if you divorce your wife three times, you cannot remarry her again. And then he says to you that Allah, he sent the most mighty messengers, which is Moses and Jesus and Muhammad. And he says to you that my name is 99, which is the multiply of number three and you are telling me what the trinity is yes sheikh rohi hello hello yes sheikh rohi we hear you go ahead <laughs> uh, okay uh, how the voice now uh, i don't know what happened your voice is kind of uh, do you have a fan on or something no, no. 
Uh, okay, how... can you call me back because the the voice is bad. It's like there is a noise. Speak now. now it's, bad. it's slow. How Somehow it is low. What happened? I mean, a second ago it was fine. My microphone is far away from your from your mouth. Let me call you back. Hold on. Let me call you back. <laughs> Maybe he did not say. Hello? Sheikh Rohi? Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum I don't know what happened. Your voice is very down. What happened? Uh, let me do restart. restart your pal talk and come back please because it was fine a second ago I think there's a problem oh. hmm. I hope uh, today the Muslims will learn something something they never heard before but anyway each time we do broadcast, you know, uh, there is people they come and listen to me for 10 years and they said to me we thought after listening to you for 10 years we learn it all but each time we listen to you we hear something new do you know do you follow Paul preaching a moon my friend the Quran says that Paul is the mighty messenger of Allah and this is how funny the Muslims are they accuse Paul call him names when the Quran says Paul is a messenger of Allah why because did that say so because Zach and Naik said so. Brother Titor, the Christian today, they are not following the Prophet Jesus. They are following a guy whose name is Paul. Like you idiot, it's in the Quran. The books of the Muslim Sunni everywhere says Paul is a messenger of Allah. So why we should not follow the teaching of Paul, you idiot? Muslims are copy, paste, Nobody want to read his own books. I'm not asking him even to read the Christian books. Read your books. Stop digging for boogers. Dig for education. A Muslim sit in the front of the TV watching Zakir Naik digging for his booger. And Zakir Naik said, Brother Sitter, the Sitter the, the did ask you a question. How come in the heaven of Allah, the women, he will not have hur, while the man, he will have hur? First of all, the word hur in the Quran is not a male or female. It's a plural name. What the heck? The word hur in the Quran is not a male or female? The Quran says they never bleed. The word hur is not male and female? 10,000 idiots watching Zach and Naik and nobody said to him, read the verse after it, you idiot. It says that there is no man and no genie did bing bing to them. No man. Yes, we follow the teaching of Paul. For Paul, he speaks for God. For Paul, he is a messenger of the Messiah, and he is teaching what the Messiah taught him. Do you have a problem with that? And you Muslims, you claim that Paul is your messenger too. This is how stupid you are. And you did not answer what I said to you. Why the Quran says, and why the scars of Islam says that Paul is a messenger of Allah if he is a bad person? Hypocrite people, they don't know what is written in their books. <clears throat> Where the Quran says that? Okay, hold on. Uh, when when the doc doctor Rohi call, I will get you busted. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Dr. Rahi, you hear me? <laughs> Hello? Okay, talk please. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Now the sound is good. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Dr. Rahi, there's a guy. Uh, he is a Muslim. His name is Saud Hassan. You hear me? No. This guy, he's a Do Muslim. Do you hear me? Uh, yes, How? yes. Yes. How's the voice now? It's, How's the it's, voice? It's perfect, perfect, very good. Uh, this guy, he's a Muslim. His name is Saud Hassan. He is asking about a chapter no. thirty-six, verse number fourteen. 
chapter it's, uh, uh, chapter 36 verse number 14 is speaking about the three messengers was sent by Allah to the city of Antioch who are they those three messengers he want to know the Quran not uh, mentioned to these uh, messengers all right but who are In, they, those messengers? Uh, Surat Yasin. who are they, those messengers the Prophet not tell us the Quran not tell us uh, so uh, how I tell you you, you will, so how we will know now like are you saying the Quran is a confusing book again you know he Allah he sent the three messengers he told us about them but he don't want to tell us who are they why is it what what is the mystery for I mean what is the secret for how come he tell us the name of Jesus he tell us the name of Idris he tell us of names of people we never heard of of Luqman etc but then now they have the three messengers all of them in one packet or in, in one box and yet you are saying that the Quran did not tell us who are they yes but uh, I don't uh, confirm to you so because the Quran not mentioned to my others, friend but uh, you as a scholar if your son prophet, are, if your son messenger, three messengers this the, the 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 guy there he is a Muslim and he want to know so what we will say to him we will say to him that nobody no Muslim knows what who are they yes and I said to him uh, no we don't know this uh, messenger so how we come how come because this, Allah don't how come the scholars they say that those are Paul and John and uh, Simon Peter why the scholars saying that uh, the, to be honest I don't know why the scholar uh, sees, uh, see, uh, said that so but you because, confirm, uh, but you confirm Muhammad don't uh -huh. said that and Allah don't said that hmm. so how they said uh, that okay so but you confirm that the scars of the Muslim Sunni they agree that those are three messengers of Isa yes or no I don't uh, confirm uh, this is uh, Isa what, uh, no no I'm saying the, scar like, the scholars of the Muslim Sunni confirm that those are the messenger of Isa yes or no not all not all the scholars uh, my friend not all of them all, all of them who, who some, is the scholar Here some of them I have the most famous ones in Islam at Tabari in example in front of me it says and uh, uh, and they said those are the messengers of Isa the son of Maryam and he is the one who sent them and that city they call it Antakya the city of Antioch and you agree with me that this is a city about Antioch before you know so who are they those three messengers you do not know the Muslim scholar says that they are Paul and John and Simon Peter. Why they say that? You said you do not know. So how come the Muslims through centuries, nobody questioned those scholars, says to them, why you are saying such a thing? You Muslim don't question your scholars when he says something. Why you are saying that? Uh I guess they saying that according to the people of uh, Israel the, the people but they of, are not you uh, see Nabuk, how how you can say my friend the, my friend the, stories. the people of Israel are not Christians you Muslims keep accusing the Jews of things but those the Jews don't believe in Jesus anyway most of them the Jews this is what they call them Jews so how they are the scars of Islam not the Jews they say that those three messengers are the messengers of Jesus and one of them is Paulus Paul and one of them is John and one of them is Simon Peter why they say such a thing and you just said the Quran and Muhammad never said so I uh... I guess from that from the story from uh, people of the book there is uh, a lot of stories hmm. but uh, it is not uh, true stories okay so are, we are you read saying in the tafsir books yeah are you saying it's that the tafsir are, are you saying that the tafsir uh, is, is 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 not is not a truthful those those sheikhs are liars they are taking lies and putting it as explanation for the quran no 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 not uh, liars uh, look my friend hmm. uh, sometimes uh, revelations causes wasn't true because some Muslim when Allah was uh, reveals a new Quran to the Prophet they were thinking that the Quran revealed for some reasons why 
Mm. Now, uh, uh, the question here, why the interpreters wrote this in their books? Mm. Why? It is for many reasons. Mm -hmm. It is for many reasons, like as uh, honesty to write everything that they was hearing. Maybe this is true. Hearing also some of them. So you, so you Muslims explain what? the Quran. Are you saying you Muslims explain the Quran based on what the Christians explain the Quran? Who is the one explaining the maybe. Quran here? What do you mean, maybe? What do you mean, maybe? Guys, this is this is very dangerous. We just heard Sheikh Rohi, Dr. Rohi saying that Al Jalalain, Ibn Abbas, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, uh, uh, all uh, Ibn Kathir, they are explaining the Quran based in what the Christian believe. So, what is the point of Islam if you cannot explain the Quran unless we go and ask the Christians? You are saying to me, we Muslims, we cannot explain our book. In independent way based in Allah statement because Allah statement is very plain doesn't say anything mean nothing in order to understand we have to go to Christian Prince hey Christian Prince can you explain to us what this verse mean okay Christian Prince he hold the Quran you say okay this is about Paul and this is about Simon Peter and this is about John and then you Muslims you take what Christian Prince said your name is Ibn Kathir, your name is Al-Tabari, al qurtubi al and you're right. Oh, okay, this verse means that those three messengers are the messengers of Isa, and the names of the messengers is Paul and Simon Peter and Barnabas or Shamoon. I mean, how in the world you are telling me this? Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this is dangerous. That means Islam is not a religion. That means Islam is, is nothing. How you say that? Go ahead. Uh, there is a lot uh, narrators take uh, from uh, Ka'b al-Ahbar wa Wahab uh, ibn Munabbih wa ghayruhum and all the Jews. Is Ka'b al-Ahbar a Muslim or not? Is, is Ka'b al-Ahbar a Muslim or is not? This is Islam. My friend, is Ka'b al-Ahbar a Muslim? Okay, is, so why you are saying from the people yes. of the book? He is not from the people of the book no more. Secondly, you Muslim scholars, do you but agree he, with somebody just for saying a statement or you study it and you research it? How a scholar he claimed to be a scholar, yes. and you Muslims call him and name him as a scholar. Is a Tabari a scholar or not? Is a Jalalin a, a, a scholar? Scholar, but uh, he uh, look, look, my friend. So, some of of uh, of mufassirin um, of interpreters uh, like to getting beat scoop the breast doing in the this present day uh, they cause to difference in uh, sometimes to ideology mm -hmm. that making some narrators to take some opinions and leave some mm. also some of explainers uh, liking to write strange things in their books uh -huh. to make their books more exciting Maybe it's Muhammad who. Uh, hold on, hold on, Sheikh Rahi. Uh, uh, isn't this what Muhammad saying? You are saying may, some some interpreter they are writing strange things because they they, they get the the, the the intention. Well, the one who is writing the strange things is your prophet. He is the one who made a story about three messengers, but yet he didn't want to tell us why. He did not tell us who are they. So you are accusing now the poor scholars who they are working hard trying to explain who are they those three why you're a prophet in his Quran didn't say okay we send the three messengers their name is etc etc and the story is solved so now because of that those poor scholars are accused by you that they are the one who is making crazy stuff stupid statement getting the attention of people and they like to do that maybe because they are seeking attention which, which means you are accusing that your scars the Muslim scars are a bunch of liars trying to make a business they try to give something not a true strange to get the attention that's amazing so now we have a religion who nobody can explain you are a PhD person graduated from a university we ask you who are the those three messengers your best answer is I do not know then we ask at Tabari, we ask at Jalalain, we ask Al Qurtubi, we ask Ibn Kathir, we ask Al -Ash Ashur, we ask etc. They say it is John, they say it is Paul, they say it is Simon Peter, and then you say, oh, they are 
some copying from the Jews and the Christians and some of them they are saying crazy stuff just to get the attention so how a Muslim can learn anything about his religion uh, our belief not based uh, we that we never uh, know what uh, name of the three messengers what do you mean? It's so, not based. No, it's based. Not it's based. All, uh, what, what, why, uh, why, why Allah told you the name of Muhammad? Why Allah told you the name of Muhammad? If it's not based on a name, what, what is the point of the? Uh, then the Quran should not mention the name of Isa. Should not mention the name of Musa. Should not mean the mention the name of Adam or Abraham. Should mention the message. That's it. So suddenly, when you want Muslims, it's not important it's, to know. It is different. What do you mean is different? different? Why what is different? Is it is it important? The name, uh, my why it's different, my friend? Those are three messengers, not one. Muhammad is one messenger. Those guys are three. So three now are not important, and one is important. Isn't it the Quran says we don't distinguish between our prophets and our messengers? Uh, what Allah said in chapter 4, uh, 164. Mm, what is So, okay. but that will not change nothing. Okay. Okay, but this is what this means nothing because you just said to me there's there's names of messengers. We never mentioned their name to you before, and there's messengers we mentioned their names for you, but here he did not mention their names still. Did he mention the names? No. <laughs> You see, you gave me a verse, mentioned then. my friend. You gave me a verse. This is a chapter. What just to confirm what chapter you said? One, uh, uh, uh one, oh, uh, uh, chapter, chapter four, uh, uh four, uh, chapter uh, first, okay. 160. All right, and Nisa, and Nisa, and Nisa, 100, 160, 164. All right, this verse, guys, Dr. Rohi, he just gave me is additional proof that Islam cannot be from God. Look what it says and and messengers we mentioned the into thee by name before and messenger have not mentioned by name into thee okay <laughs> what the point of speaking of messengers we did not mention their names but we mentioned them how we will know who they are what city what city they are going to those are three messengers they are going to a city shouldn't we know what is city shouldn't we know who are they otherwise what the point of to tell us about about their story Simply here, here the verse you gave me, because Muhammad himself, he do not know. He do not know what to say. He is copying from the book of Waraqa ibn Nawfal. Waraqa ibn Nawfal is speaking about the three messengers who went to the city of Antioch. Muhammad, he copied the verse. He has he have no idea this is about who. Otherwise, if he is a prophet of God, can't he ask his God, who are they, those prophets? Shouldn't Muhammad, you see, you're a prophet. He have time to ask Allah if it is halal to drink a, a, a camel urine or not it is halal to shave the mustache or a woman she can take hair from her face Allah have time for those things but Allah have have no time to tell us the name of a three important stories and one of them is a mighty messenger of Allah who is the one who made miracles even resurrect people from death shouldn't we know who they are forget about this I want to ask you Dr. Rahi the Quran mentioned the name of Israel who is Israel Uh, where uh, my friend uh, Prophet ask uh, Allah to uh, ask about uh, camel urian uh, halal. So are you are you saying that the Prophet was giving the Muslim orders to drink camel urine without permission from Allah? Not no no it is not it is not true. What do you mean? Did he order you to drink mm -hmm. camel urine by the order of Allah or by his own no, order? No no. No, wrong, wrong. It is wrong. Uh, what wrong? Explain, wrong. please. Explain. Uh, now I am late, my friend. Hmm. So I want to pray and uh, all right, okay, to sleep. Then, if you want, we discuss uh, about no problem. this uh, next, topic. Next, next Saturday, no problem. I am next here next Saturday. Saturday. No problem, Sheikh Rohi. Maybe after uh, Saturday because uh, maybe Eid. Uh, I will message you inshallah. My, my friend, no problem. Thank you for uh, thank you for being with us. And I I apologize if I was like if I might sound sometimes like rude, but I don't mean to be rude. Please don't take it personal. All right.
All right. Okay, thank you for your polite. Uh, I benefit from you. I, we discuss and uh, they benefit from us. Thank, thank you, you thank my you, friend. Thank, thank well, you. I, I am glad to meet you truly. Thank you. Take care and good have a night. good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. All right. Was I, guys, was I, wasn't I nice? It was very easy, actually. I was holding myself, actually. You see, this is a religion. Nobody have answer for it. Who are the, the three messengers? And we didn't know. You know what, what this religion is about. Who is Muhammad? We do not know. Who is Israel? We do not know. It's not, it's not, it's not important. You remember yesterday? The, the Muslim, he called it is not important. What do you mean it's not important? This guy, he just said, same. Our religion is not based on the messengers. No, it's based on the real messengers. Otherwise, why are you are telling me the this name of Jesus and the name of Moses and the name of Muhammad? If there is no name, need, no need for names, then all those names should go. And you, what you know, he he write books about Islam. I wish I have his books because I'm sure from his books I can make a story. <laughs> you know, when when a Muslim he have a book, a scholar, you know, he have a book. I can get him busted from his book. That's why I was trying to get his book. Where where his book? You know what I mean? That will make it even easier for me. Now we will finish for now, just to keep this video just about a debate. So people they can download it, share it with your, with their friends, and again remember, guys, if you like to read my books, I have my last release two books, variant number one and variant number two, and actually they are now top sellers in Amazon for uh, uh, mythology, uh, as one of you told me. I need to check that. So uh, six and Allah is a new release by me. You can find my books by searching Christian Prince in Amazon.com. And remember, we have very important books. Now, this is just about sex. This book is about sexual, uh, the sexuality of Islam. Anything have to do about sexuality. And I tried my best not to keep to make the book so big, because I can talk about sexuality in Islam forever. But this is not the point. The point is how to make people reach to understanding what Islam is about and what is the relationship between sex sexuality and the belief of Islam because everything you see in the front of you Islam is based on sex jihad is based on sex Allah the followers the believers everything is based on sex this is a sex religion they try to speak about themselves as if they are people who have nothing to do with it when the fact everything about it it's about sex people don't do jihad because they love Allah people do jihad because they want to go and get women and boys people they don't want to kill themselves just because it is serving Allah people they are desperately dying to go and get those beautiful boys who they are so hot those beautiful women who no genie no human being touch them Islam is a sexual religion here in this life and hereafter and this is what you will find in my books however I advise you to read the deception of Allah which is my first book and Quran and science and we have a translations for my books in other languages in French, Le Secret du Prophet Arab, and the German, in German, we have two books in German actually right now. Translation for the Session of Allah and Quran and Science. And we have a book in Dutch and a book in Swedish. And now we have the two new books about Islam and sexuality. Don't forget to leave your comment if you enjoy reading my books. And don't forget to share the truth with your friends. And trust me, we are the Arab. And we are the one who made Islam, and we are the one who will destroy it. They can fool you, for you don't speak Arabic. They can fool you, because you do not know. They can fool you, because their secret is written in Arabic. But they cannot fool us. And we are here to help you and to help your children. So nobody can deceive them. 
this is a religion based on deception and copy paste practice nobody dare to ask a question and the second you ask a question you find yourself in dead end road and this is why each time we debate a Muslim he he get in as a turkey and he leave out as a chicken ready to be cooked thank you for watching may the Lord bless you and I am a Christian for I cannot find better than the name of a Christ to follow and I am a person who choose to be called a Christian Prince for I am a Prince for I am the child of God and my God he asked us to call him our father we belong to the father not the God of slaves we are not the slaves of anyone we are the children of God who believe in God who he think that God needs slaves your God is suffering from mental issues who believe in God who believe that his God provide women and private part a God who will extend your penis to make it endless that is not a God that is a pimp a promise of God is a promise of his personality and who he is our God is the God of holiness his heaven is not a pimp house his heaven is a place for decency when they asked Jesus what we will have in heaven, who is going to have this woman? He said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. And same as angels mean we will be free of our needs. Islam make you slave of needs. Because the more needs you have, the more slave you are. And sex is a need. Food is a need. Money is a need. Roof is a need job is a need the messiah he free you he don't slave you the god of islam make you addicted to sex make you addicted to gold and silver this is why he promised you gold and silver even in heaven this is why even he promised you that in heaven there's a market where there's no buying nor selling except pictures of men and women i never thought that God is the founder of a Playboy magazine. But that is Islam. Thank you very much for being with us and may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Amen to that. And see you soon again. Bye bye.